Here we go, folks. How are we? Um, I'm just going to go live for a little bit with a beautiful lady called Medina and to hear about everything that she's doing in terms of keeping people connected, I think is a really good way to set. And here she is. Let me bring the lovely Medina on camera here. Medina, how are you? Hi! <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> very, very good. Very good. Hey, I can't Medina. believe it worked. Yay! <laughs> yes. I can't get my headphones to work, but that's perfect. We don't need them. <laughs> and it's so lovely to sort of, um, I guess, see you again. And, and, and a big thank you to a good friend of mine, um, Doris Borkowski, for putting us in touch. Um, Absolutely. Thank you, Doris. <laughs> Thank you, Doris. And if you don't know Doris, you need to know Doris for everything that she knows and, and the amount of work and effort and research she's put in over the last, I don't know, 10 months, if not more, but particularly of late, that we've really connected um, in a different level. Plus, um, I work closely with Doris in terms of plant medicine work that um, we do as well together. So, Fantastic. Medina, let's let us introduce you. Um, how would you sort of summarize everything that you do for people? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Where do you start? <laughs> well, I, I feel like 2021 is a year for um, the unfolding of the golden age. And so uh, there are so many opportunities opening up for so many people, I think, now. Um, and this is all the new energy that's coming in. So. For me, I've just got the most opportunities I've ever had opening up this year and um, they include a lot of different things. So where to start? One of my things is I'm involved with a group called the Guardians of Sovereignty, which is a website you can find and they are there to support the rights of the Australian people and the rights of the Victorian people to be able to... Um, in, uh, be liberated, embrace their sovereignty and to help build foundations for a new earth. And yeah. so that's very exciting. So if people want to go there, it's a fantastic site and there's also a new news uh, letter that comes out weekly, like a report, Guardian's report. And um, so that, that's a really great place. There's some amazing volunteers there as well. Uh, and yeah. and then I'm also, uh, this year, I, I am a sponsor for Healy, like yourself. I love yep. the Healy. I use that every day, virtually every day. And I intuitively, as an intuitive and someone who's been a, a spiritual healer and um, a divine channel, I tune in every day to what I need to work on you know some days it might be my eyes or my skin or I might be feeling a little bit flat so I want um, a uh, boost for my soul unity or whatever whatever it is I tune in every day to whatever I need and then I do a program for that so it's great for light workers and healers who are intuitive because they can just um, work with that flow you know the energetic flow of the universe so that's exciting and yes, then we're going to say something. <laughs> no, no, absolutely. Keep going. Like, there's so much that you do, and that's and you're doing so well to help articulate it really well. That's like, oh, this will be interesting. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, thank yeah, you, yeah. Daniel. That's lovely. Oh, so my other thing is, oh, there's a message coming through there. I'm just going to touch, uh, make sure my uh, computer's quiet. So then, um, the other things that I'm doing are, and this is uh, a, a huge thing. I'm doing a proposal and working with some people to set up a new media platform. So it's based on an independent server in America that's already set up and it's mm -hmm. the voice of truth and the voice of the people. So it's a whole new media platform that's going to support communities to be able to tell their true stories, uh, not based on any agendas, any globalist agendas or anything like that. This is really the voice of the people and it's based it's going to be based around um, Australia, New Zealand, Polynesian Islands, all the Oceania region. And so people that are interested in joining, we're looking for people that are fantastic with production, you know, film crews, writers, 
uh, people that are field messengers, which is what is the new terminology for reporters. We're trying to use new terminology because the old system was not working and we're, we're creating a whole new system. So that would be field messengers. And um, then there's also a, a health and wellness section in there as well, which is everyone who's uh, passionate about creating new holistic health um, systems for humanity. And so people can join that if they're passionate about that. And there's also a global youth uh, section as well where young people are able to be the voice for, uh, you know, the future, where they're able to actively contribute to saying what they want to do to create a better world and, and, and what projects. You know, it's also uh, there are restoration projects available where you can um, nominate your restoration project that, where you want to make the world a better place and then you can actually, um, if it's uh, accepted, you can get funding for that and then you can help create this new world. For example, um, just an idea, uh, I noticed that now with the glass recycling, you can no longer uh, put your glass out for recycling here in Victoria because the glass recycling um, plants in China are no longer accepting, I think they're full or something, or it could be the whole situation with China, but they're no longer accepting glass. So therefore the glass goes in with all the other, um, you know, landfill. And so that's really damaging to the planet. So someone who, for example, has the ability to know how to recycle glass would be um, a brilliant project to be able to get funding for, for a restoration project. Or, you know, there's so many different things, you know, helping people with um, housing, helping the homeless with housing, um, food, new new food, like yourself, you know, with plant medicine, setting up new um, natural um, ways of, of having food with life force that is coming straight from the plants with, you know, beautiful energy, organic energy, you know, that sort of thing. So there's, yeah. there's so many opportunities actually unfolding this year and I'm very connected with a lot of different people. Yeah, that was my next <laughs> question to say, how are you doing all this? Like who who else is helping you on your team to make all this happen? Um, it's not like, I mean, you're a great, like you're very efficient, but holy heck, that's a lot to take on board. That's true. That's true. <laughs> no, it's not me at all. Not just me at all. It's um so many people that all have, um, skills in all the different areas like you know people that are involved in health and wellness that, that are coming on board helping then there's um, people that are passionate about creating new media you know creating and an even media is a word that has old connotations but a new platform for the people where um, everyone can have a voice and you know it's news also that is not just based on uh, the issues or the problems in the it's news where perhaps we if we, we, we um, highlight the problem, but then we also show a resolution and how we can fix it at the end of it instead of just leaving people with a negative. It's being able to um, create a positive um, a solution for that at the end of the report. So it's a completely different way of presenting um, the news. And, and if you want to Google the United Network, you'll be able to see what they're doing. Um, this is a proposal. I'm putting in a proposal for this all happening, but I'm working with some um, people that are, are involved and, and, and connected and we'll, we'll, uh, we're, uh, we're very confident that this will do well, but we, we are just putting it together at this stage, but it's going to be amazing. And um, there are some other amazing people that are involved, for example, Matt Lawson, who's doing some great work in Victoria. And yeah, I know you love him, Daniel. Say, yes. <laughs> I was going to sort of yes, ask yes. about who it is and, and how do you sort of simplify some of the work that you're doing um, for someone who's had no has no exposure to a lot of this? Um, if, for instance, they have been busy working or watching the news as we know it, um, how would you explain it to someone in a much simpler sort of layman's terms? Like I understand exactly everything what you're saying, but just for anyone who's not too across a lot of stuff that's been happening behind sure. the scenes. Sure. You know what I think, what it boils down to is that, um, and Deepak Chopra talks about this, it's really 
recognizing your own unique gift and ability that you're here to give the world and tuning into what that is can match your unique skill and ability to what is required and needed in the world so for example if you're a great communicator then that's that's a real opportunity to step in and and be involved because that is the skill that's required in 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 certain areas of obviously uh, media and being a field messenger so i think for everyone at the moment we're being asked to really look what are your amazing gifts and abilities and skills and how can you match that with the need that is out in the community what does the community need and how can you match that with your gifts and that that's going to answer so many um problems and issues in the world when we can all do that and it's also about our um, gift or our ability being our joy so that when you're doing the thing that you are being called to do you're doing it with passion you're doing it with love you're doing it with a beautiful um, emotion that is going to put really positive energy into what you're doing into the world and into your life so that's matching that that unique gift with your with your joy yeah that's so perfect and i was going to say if people are like who haven't had any exposure to this um what are some names of some well-known people or anything whether it's on youtube that they can sort of um commence their journey on this like you mentioned deepak chopra are there any other names out there that are more mainstream well-known that hopefully people may have heard of that come to mind right to do with them, you know, developing their spiritual um, journey, you mean? And, and, and spiritual sort of journey. Like, yeah, questioning, questioning, questioning why the sky is blue, why we stop at a yes. red light, why we may have to wear masks or why they want us to wear masks. <laughs> you know, let's Sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> this well, might excite um, a few people. We might make a few people angry, but here's my <laughs> exemption from having to wear one in Brisbane. <laughs> Oh, good on you. Yay, you got it. Well done. <laughs> yes. Um, well, um, I think that Nyla Nguyen is a great source of um, information. She has a channel called 3D to 5D Consciousness. It was on YouTube, but I think it's been uh, banned um, or taken down. So she's on BitChute and a few other things now. 3D to 5D Consciousness. She's great. Um, there's so a wonderful couple, um, Eldora Rose and Simon on uh, YouTube, and they have some fantastic uh, yeah. videos as well. I've got a channel myself, which people are welcome to join, called Arise Humanity. Arise Humanity on YouTube. Yes. So I was going to say, if we share the link somewhere, would that um, have other links to other like well-known people in this space that people can sort of like watch and learn from? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, yes, that, that's a great idea. And um, also, if people, if they want to connect with some, they can ask for um, um, their uh, higher guidance to guide them to the information that's going to really help them and support them at this time. You know, please guide me to the information that's going to really support my soul evolution. Um, and then if you put it out there as an intention, it will, it will naturally be drawn back in. And um, so I could probably think of some more as well, but I can put them in links afterwards on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a great thing. And and for anyone, I guess, watching the replay, if well, if you've missed the live and you're watching the replay, um, I do spend a bit of time just connecting with like Medina or other people that have been mentioned um, in this sort of space and, and sort of join the community of whether it's wellness, um, helping share the message out there was like field reporter, what was the word that you used? You know, try and sort of open your mind to these new concepts that are, you know, have been around forever, but probably less well known, and just sort of connect with intention and allow whatever, whoever, or whatever it is, guide you along that path and just be open to sort of um, bonding and connecting with people that probably same, share the same passion, right? Absolutely, it's so so important because when when you start to do that, it, it, it allows your energy to really flow, and to otherwise you get like a stagnant energy, and sometimes you feel, you know, when when all this transition is happening in the world, and you're feeling overwhelmed, you can you can release that energy and allow that flow to kick in by actually taking action and stepping forward in the direction of your highest uh, good. 
um, and, and also asking to be guided to what is my highest good for, for the highest good of all concerned at this time, please guide me and, and it will come to you. And um, for all the people out there that are in fear about what's going on in the world, uh, I really want to just say too that the light has won. Um, I really feel that on the deepest level, the, the light has been has been successful. You know, it, it was for a time being, you know, it was quite close with, with the dynamic that was happening between the globalist takeover and the light. But but now um, it's got to a stage where the light has really um, become victorious, and all the um, clean up of of the darkness um, in this uh, fight between good and evil is playing itself out and that's what we're seeing and it might look worse for a while before it looks better but I just want to really assure people that it's a very positive thing for, for humanity and not only for humanity but for the cosmos that's just happened because we actually have um, beaten the dark, um, good has won, light has won and um, what you're seeing now is just the results of that playing out and it will unfold um, as it's meant to. So try to stay in a high frequency. Um, just tune in on the inner level to, to, to the light and you'll be able to feel that yourself. Yeah, perfect, perfect advice. And I just remember in the last day or so, um, I'll hold up this phone if I can make it happen. If we see a particular chat platform right here, Yes, that one. People with made the to the terms and conditions. Is that right, Medina? Oh, yes. <laughs> I know that you're passionate about this too. Uh, yes, there have been some changes that are very connected to um, another platform we're very familiar with, which um, we may know about we quite about. well. We're watching this. <laughs> and um, so, therefore, um, be aware that you are your privacy is now in a different situation with these platforms, and so um, be aware that it might be good to take um, action in a way that really aligns with your own security and best interest, and being really um, up to date on on all these changes that are happening as they happen. Um, because when you know about the information that's coming out about all this, you can be one step ahead. So, you know, there are some wonderful other platforms that you can access that I really encourage you, such as one beginning with T. <laughs> and <laughs> and, and um, the fax, was it? Like getting a message across the old fax style, if you think of the names back there starting with T. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how else to word this because we, we don't want to be <laughs> sensitive. No, but yes, people know, people know, people know, or they talk yeah. to other people who, are, who ought to know. So you've got yes. it covered. If you don't know, just ask some of your friends and you'll know what we're saying. It, and if you've completely missed everything we're talking about, just message us and we'll tell you what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> or phone, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's yeah, right. Yeah. Um, so um, I I think too. Is there anything else you want to add, Daniel, about the moment? What what's important at the moment for people to know? Um, I, I pretty much like for me, wellness is a huge passion of mine, um, and and looking at mm. ways of um, uh, reversing and improving your health. Um, I you know I had my own physical challenges with like uh, like blood pressure, which was there for life, um, and for years I fought that and like nope, not possible, not happening. This is true. Food, work, uh, let me go to the gym, stay healthy, eat no salt. All, this, all the, everything that I was following, what people in white coats were telling me, and then like, no, nah, it's got to be more to it. And I was able to reverse that by just changing the foods I ate. And then once you go into that journey, it all expands to so much more, and you just start getting all this uh, other information. Like you said, put it out there that this is my intention, and just watch what happens, and just take action. You know. You might have someone dangle something in front of you, but if you don't go grab it, you just waste it. Exactly. A lot of people are talking about their um, goal is to really get fit and get healthy. I've, I've really noticed that with a lot of people this year, more than usual, more than just the usual New Year's resolutions. Um, and I think there's a real energy in that. People really tuning into the fact that we have to raise our vibration, raise our consciousness, because as we go through this um, 
shift toward the new earth and raise um, the, the, into the 5D uh, realm, into the fifth dimensional realm. We need to bring our physical body along with us, <laughs> and because um, that's so. Are you able to um, access some of those dimensions. Need... Say that again. How do you access some of those higher dimensions. Well, um, through um, raising your frequency, raising your consciousness, spiritually working on yourself, you know, meditating, um, drinking a lot of water. Um, trying to to be pure in your energy and also pure in your thoughts in your frequency um so that those are that's the main way that we step up our vibration and work towards this ascension you know being in nature a lot um grounding your energy um drinking heaps of water at the moment getting plenty of sleep <laughs> all those things and would, would Being involved in a community of other like-minded people help accelerate that and help keep you there? Is, is that another way of doing brilliant it as well? Point. Absolutely. That's yeah. brilliant. That's so important too because there, there is a lack of polarity that's happening um, on the earth at the moment. So the people that are, um, uh, how we say, they, they have one... Uh, they have one train of thought about what's happening, um, you know, with Trump and so forth. Am I, can I say that word? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> anyway. I'm a big um, fan, so say it all your life. <laughs> so um, the people that have one train of thought about that are going um, energetically in one direction and the people that have another train of thought are going in enough polarity that it's happening like a bigger and bigger gap between the two and and so you might have noticed that with your family and friends and it's like it's it's quite hard now to um breach that energetic gap and communicate and and because it's getting so wide and so distant so that's one way that you're really noticing a shift at the moment yeah that's so beautiful <laughs> um and you know the censorship and the banning of free speech and everything this is why I'm really passionate about going into this new uh, platform because we all need to have a voice. We, we need to be able to speak freely. I mean, this is, is a basic human right that is being overrided at this time um, and abused and um, it's, it's unsupportable. We can't, we can't allow that to happen. Yeah, and, and something further to that, um, Medina, that I sort of introduced the concept with just a few days ago, um, uh, we talk about sovereignty, privacy, and all those different aspects. Um, a very good dear friend of mine um, did let me know around a, um, a, a, a company who is heart-centered in terms of, uh, it's very new, so I can't articulate it too well, but it's pretty much controlling as much as possible your privacy with um, maybe not using one of these things. So this particular brand, <laughs> Uh, you know, and it's about yes. their own sort of brand, which has a whole new label. Like the fruit. Let's say let, the, fruit. Let's, yeah, the fruit, the circular yeah. one that Adam and Eve put it. It's about all these um, disrupt, not disruptors, but another way of, I guess, um, dispersing resources and control from the very few or the very rich to giving people an opportunity to all jump on onus being on um, privacy. Um, and and I can, we can we you and I can both share a, a YouTube clip that was put together just recently. I think a day or two before Christmas. So is that's new around what this is, how it kind of works, and and what their version of this thing looks like. Um, but again, not launched here in Australia yet, nor the US. I don't think. But it's something that's coming through. That's phenomenal. Like what cryptocurrency has done to the, our monetary system. Um, so it's that same sort of concept um, with the biggest driver being privacy and control of our information. So, um, yeah, get in touch with um, Medina or myself about this. Get on board. No cost. Just It just has you ready to receive information once it becomes available. So that's one message I just want to share with and anyone watching this or watching the replay. I love it because there's so many amazing new initiatives that are all about this new energy that we're going into, which is yeah. an energy which is about um, the, the highest good of humanity and, and, and the collective good, as opposed to um, individual uh, power, control and um, profit, you know. 
it's, it, it's great. And, and and the other thing, these sort of new initiatives that come in, it's good to get in at ground level often when they when they come in. If it resonates with you and you go in and, 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 and you get a yes, you know, you, you ask about whether it's something you'd like to connect with and it really resonates with you, good to get in at these early uh, times because that's when uh, you can make the biggest difference. Yeah, 100%. 100 percent so yeah yeah. <laughs> um, yeah any questions um like we if we've mentioned stuff that's time specific to now don't stress because we are not going anywhere we will be here doing the same thing um do reach out do connect just take that effort to reach out to one of us or anyone within our community um and let's let's all do this together because it, it's the way i guess if Medina, if i can sum it up the way we're working is a lot different to how we were taught it's not you against me it's that no let's flip everything upside down it's about working together which is where we have the synergy and the growth ah oh, 100 yeah totally yeah when yeah. you have two people combined together the energy magnifies greater than those two people um and you get a, a far even more uh greater result so yeah 100%. Yeah. So um, <laughs> if you're watching the replay, connect, reach out, because we know a truckload of amazing other people and other resources mm -hmm. um, that mm -hmm. exist out there. Um, and, you know, and we, we are just beginning. We are just beginning here. So there's so much more and so many other skilled people who are probably doing the same thing in parallel or with us as well. So um, exactly. So we want to support. We want to support all them with their with their highest um, soul um, mission, their highest yeah. soul path. And you know that that's true fulfillment when you're able to um, align with what you incarnated to do. So so important. I couldn't agree more. Thank you, and I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day. Thank like, you. Uh, we've been chit chatting quite a bit, and it's like let's do this. Let's sort of bring a lot more light to what exists <laughs> out there and uh, now having this amazing information to share in these really interesting times. Like I look forward each morning when I wake up because there's just, what will today bring? Let's do this. You know? <laughs> Thanks too. <laughs> so true, so true. And thank you, Daniel, for everything you're doing. You're doing an amazing job raising awareness. So thank you to, to you and, you know, your wonderful soul work that you're doing. Oh, I've just been blown away. Like we met not that long ago through our beautiful friend Doris and just sort of seeing all the bits and pieces you've sort of included me in. I was like, how is this one person managing all this? You know? We're all infinite, unlimited um, beings and, and we forget that, you know, how much we can actually do and achieve in this world because we've been taught to be small and we don't have to be small anymore. Yeah. Nope, nope. And, and, and if you think you have these, and I just want to say to anyone out there going, oh, I can't do that. Um, I was saying those exact same words only a few weeks ago. And it's because through, um, like my friend who's a really good naturopath, we've connected years before, she goes, hey, I've done this technique. Can I, do you want to be a client? I'm like, okay. And that has made the ultimate shift. And um, anyone I know close, I'm like, these are the things that you need to do, including seeing this particular lady to do that same thing with you if you want to get the most out of life. Because... We get one shot at life. Let's make it a good one. Yes, that's true. In this body. One shot in this body. Correct. <laughs> but right, then, yeah, yeah. then you <laughs> Beautiful. All so right, lovely well, to chat with you, Jackie. Thank you so much. No problem. And we'll share some links to your site as well, Medina, below and anything else. Um, Fantastic. And, and any, like, I mean. Oh, don't okay. Can I things. just mention one other thing? Yeah. Yep. Oh, sorry. Um, um, one other thing, I, I, I have a website, so if anyone wants online sessions, um, I am doing a, taking on a few clients at this time for distant healing, energetic healing, um, uh, divine guidance sessions. So that that's a I have a small bit of time allocated to some clients. So if you know, I have some availability, not a lot, but if someone wants to work with me, please contact me as well. Absolutely, and that's great that you know that like that you exist out there. And and I sh and I suggest to anyone who sees you, tell everyone else that you know, Medina, uh, and have had that amazing shift and transformation, or whatever it is that has opened up for you that's made the biggest shift and change. Like, you'd be telling the world that how good it is. Do the same thing in this concept, you know, in this space, right? 
Thank you. <laughs> That's lovely. Well, so so great to talk with you, Daniel. We'll have to do it again soon. And um, um, everyone out there, hope that you're, you know, experiencing um, lots of love and joy and peace today. Yeah, so true, so true. And one final message is mm -hmm. just hold your vibration of love or above. Um, another good, really great speaker living on the Gold Coast um, shared that message a few times and it's really stuck with me. So hold the vibration of love or above and not fear. It doesn't serve you. Is that Christy Sheldon? Um, no, another guy called Dr. Espen and I can't pronounce his surname, but he was on Ninja Warrior and a few other TV shows. <laughs> Who has come from his own set of health challenges himself, told, I think that would never walk again. And he won Ninja Warrior. Yeah. And if you watch that show, you know the skill level involved and required to just make it through the course. And to win it or do really well yeah. in a season, that shows commitment and dedication. But it's all mindset work. All mindset work. That's all it is. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> I would love to talk to and I look forward to seeing you closer up my way and, I, and I'll come and visit. Fantastic. Not, not far away. <laughs> Lots right. of love. Bye. See ya. Bye. Have a nice night, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>